Spokane International Airport IATA, GEG, ICAO, KGEG, FAA LID, GEG is a commercial airport approximately 5 miles 8 kilometers west of downtown Spokane, Washington. It is the primary airport serving the inland northwest, which consists of 30 counties and includes areas such as Spokane and the Tri-Cities, both in eastern Washington, and Coeur d'Alene in north Idaho. The airport's code, GEG, is derived from its airfield's namesake, Major Harold Geiger. As of 2015, Spokane International Airport GEG ranks as the 70th busiest airport in the United States in terms of passenger employments. At 3,234,095 total passengers served in 2016, it is also the second busiest airport in Washington. GEG is served by five airlines with non-stop service to 13 airports in 12 markets. It is included in the Federal Aviation Administration FAA National Plan of Integrated Airport Systems for 2017-2021, in which it is categorized as a small hub primary commercial service facility. History Topic. Origins Known as Sunset Field before 1941, it was purchased from the county by the War Department and renamed Geiger Field after Major Harold Geiger, an Army aviation pioneer who died in a crash in 1927. During World War II, Geiger Field was a major training base by 2nd Air Force as a group training airfield for B-17 Flying Fortress heavy bombardment units, with new aircraft being obtained from Boeing near Seattle. It was also used by Air Technical Service Command as an aircraft maintenance and supply depot. Deer Park Airport and Feltz Field were auxiliaries. In 1943, General Hap Arnold established the first formal fire protection training course at Geiger Field, Washington. It was used until 1946. Geiger Field was served by a rail connection to the Great Northern Railway. Geiger was closed in late 1945 and turned over to War Assets Administration WA, then transferred to Spokane County and developed into a commercial airport. The airport hosted USAF Air Defense Command interceptor units during the Cold War for air defense of Hanford Nuclear Reservation and Grand Coulee Dam. Built in 1942 as the Spokane Air Depot, Fairchild Air Force Base is 4 miles 7 kilometers to the west. It became Spokane's municipal airport in 1946, replacing Feltz Field, and received its present name in 1960, after the city of Spokane was allotted Spokane Geiger Field by the Surplus Property Act. The airport code is still GEG, for Geiger Field. Topic. Modern era The current Concourse A and B complex opened in 1965 and was designed by Warren C. Haleman and William Trogdon. Occasional non stop flights to Southern California since the 1970s have been among the first to be suspended during economic downturns. Topic. Growth and expansion A second level was added to Concourse A and Concourse B in 1974. The airport has a master plan, which includes a third runway and gates added to Concourse C. A new control tower has been built south of the airport, replacing the one near Concourse C. The new control tower is the tallest one in the state. The terminal, rotunda, and Concourse C enhancement project trace was recently completed, designed by Bernardo Wills Architects, PC. The project, which concluded in November 2006, added retail space and expanded security checkpoints in the airport's three concourses, and gave the rotunda an aesthetic renovation. In 2010, 2,000 feet was added to runway 3-21, and parallel taxiways a and G enabling heavier aircraft departures in summer months. The airport plans to add another concourse in the next 5 to 10 years and looks to add more direct flights to the East Coast. The Spokane market has been hosting big events and attracting business to the area. Topic: Facilities. Topic: Airfield. 
The airport covers 6,140 acres 2,480 hectares and operates two paved runways. Runway 3 21sts, 11,002 feet x 150 feet 3,353 meters x 46 meters, asphalt, concrete. Runway 7 25sts, 8,199 feet x 150 feet 2,499 meters x 46 meters, asphalt. Topic. Terminals The passenger terminal facility at Spokane International Airport has three main structures, Concourse A and B in the center, Concourse C to the southwest, and the Ground Transportation Center to the north. The three structures are immediately adjacent and connected, however the two concourse structures are not linked with an airside connector on the sterile side, as such, connecting passengers need to transit between concourse A-B and concourse C through the landside, non-sterile circulation. Topic. Concourse A-B The 1965 Concourse A-B complex includes the two concourses linked by a central rotunda area with dining and shopping vendors. The 37,000 square feet 3, square meters rotunda is supported entirely along its perimeter and features no obstructions. Concourse A houses five gates 11 to 15, while Concourse B houses eight gates 1 to 8. The Concourse A-B complex originally opened on April 1, 1965 and was designed by Warren C. Haleman and William Trogdon. The new terminal cost a reported $4,600,000 equivalent to $35,780,000 in 2017 and was dedicated on May 8, 1965, in a ceremony attended by Senator Warren Magnuson and Civil Aeronautics Board Chair Alan Boyd. Designed to the neo-expressionism style, the building's architecture prominently features exposed concrete as well as distinct sculpted and monolithic architectural shapes and forms. However, as the airport has continued to incrementally expand, some of the original architectural intent of the Concourse AB complex has been lost. While several expansions to the concourse extended the building's original architectural style, other additions have altered it. In 1974, a second floor was added to both concourses A and B to allow for the implementation of passenger boarding bridge access to aircraft. The new floors, while sharing some material commonality with the original Hailman and Trogdon concourse, lacked the same curvy and sculpted neo-expressionistic forms. The later additions of the ground transportation facility and concourse C to the ends of the concourse building further altered the architecture by replacing its distinct bookend elevations and entrances with corridors to the adjacent buildings. Interior renovations in the mid-2000s also replaced many of concourse AB complex's original sculpted forms and monolithic materials with more rectilinear forms and contemporary finish materials. Despite this, many of the original architectural elements remain integral to the space such as the exposed concrete roof trusses and concrete columns, creating a juxtaposition between the newer elements and the original architecture. Under the proposed terminal renovation and expansion program to accommodate projected growth, the separate baggage claim areas in Concourse A-B and Concourse C would be consolidated into a single baggage claim with five carousels, and A-B would receive a renovation. Ultimately, operations at AB would wind down under long-term plans to construct a new terminal in 2030. At the earliest, Southwest Airlines is the current primary occupant operating in and out of Concourse A Delta and United Airlines both operate in and out of Concourse B American Airlines operated in and out of Concourse B before relocating to Concourse C in March 2016. Topic: Concourse C Concourse C houses nine gates, both upper 30 to 32 and lower 21A, 21B, 22 to 26. The lower level gates house regional turboprop jets, while the upper level gates house narrow body aircraft. The current iteration of Concourse C opened in 2000 after a $20 million redevelopment and expansion project designed by Bernardo Wills Architects. The project, which broke ground in 1998 added 80,000 square feet 7, square meters to the concourse including a new baggage claim and two-story passenger facility. 
The 11,000 square foot 1,000 square meters concourse was remodeled into service and operations functions. The new Concourse C has a more contemporary architectural style, contrasting the appearance of the Concourse A and B complex, by employing a large use of metal cladding and large curtain window walls on its exterior building envelope. However, it draws inspiration from its neo-expressionist neighbor by architecturally expressing a modular, repetitive, and exposed structural grid through its facade and interior lobby areas. Alaska Airlines and its sister carrier Horizon Air were the primary occupants operating in and out of Concourse C after Frontier Airlines ceased operations to Spokane in January 2015. However, that changed once American Airlines relocated to Concourse C in March 2016. Alaska and American operate in and out of the upper level gates, while Horizon operates in and out of the lower level gates. Airlines and destinations Spokane International Airport is served by six carriers. These carriers serve 13 markets through non-stop service to 15 airports. Passenger Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Top Destinations Topic Airline Market Share Topic Annual Traffic Topic Ground Transportation Spokane Transit operates two stops at Spokane International Airport, with bus Route 60 connecting the airport to downtown Spokane. Transfer opportunities are available in downtown to the rest of the STA system. The airport is also served by the WSDOT's Travel Washington Gold Line, which provides twice daily bus service to cities north of Spokane, including Deer Park, Chihuahua, Colville, and Kettle Falls. A consolidated rental car facility is located adjacent to the Ground Transportation Center on the north end of the main terminal. The consolidated facility opened in November 2008, replacing several satellite operations, and is intended to meet passenger growth at the airport for 20 years after its opening. <laughs> Accidents and incidents On January 21, 1981, a Beechcraft Model 99A, Cascade Airways Flight 201, crashed into a hill 4.5 miles from the runway. The accident was caused by an incorrect distance measuring equipment frequency and premature descent to minimum descent altitude. Of the nine people on board, seven were killed, including both pilots, and the other two passengers were seriously injured. The airline ceased operations about five years later. On March 18, 1994, Douglas DC-3CN3433Y of Solaire crashed shortly after takeoff on a cargo flight to Portland International Airport. The starboard engine failed shortly after takeoff. The engine that failed had previously been in long-term storage and had been overhauled the previous year and fitted to the aircraft on February 21, replacing an engine that developed a misfire and loss of power. It had accumulated 15 hours flight time at the time of the accident. The aircraft was destroyed in the subsequent fire and both crew members were killed. See also Washington World War II Army Airfields Western Air Defense Force Air Defense Command 9th Air Division